you from the very beginning until this very day. Some of you today walked in here with different things on your heart, on your mind. But as we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ and how he overcame the grave, he wants you to know this morning that you will overcome, that all things will work together for the good of those who love him. That's what his word says. And God is not a God that he should lie, right? So his word is truth. When people ask me about Jesus and say, Britt, why do you believe in Jesus? Why do you believe in God? I say, because, well, one, because I met him when I was just a little girl. He came in my room in a moment when I was broken. My parents were actually going through a divorce. And I remember I ran to my room and I opened up my Bible and I felt the presence of God fill my room. I felt these big arms come in and hold me tight and say, I'm right here and I'll never leave you. In that moment, I felt like I've just met my best friend. Maybe some of you today have never had that moment or that encounter with God, but he is that real. And I believe this morning, if you just lift your hands to him and say, Jesus, I want to know you. I want to meet you, that he will meet you right where you are. God is not ashamed of you. He's not disappointed in you. He loves you. And that's what this morning is about. We want you to know the true love of God. It's something that we can never understand or even comprehend, but we just have to receive it and say, God, you're good, and I don't know why you love me like this. I don't know why your love never fails, God, but I receive it, and I'm thankful, God, for your love. How many of you are thankful for the goodness of God this morning? Come on. (laughs) 